air signs. Let me take it down. Just for those of you that are wondering, I am okay. So let's see what we got for my air signs. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This is the weekend edition, y'all. So we will be doing this for September the 22nd. September the 23rd. In September the 24th of 2018, what messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo? Sun and rising in this. September 22nd. September 23rd. September 24th, 2018. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Sun and rising. And Venus. Seven of Swords, I mean, Seven of Wands. There is some restriction. There are some insecurities. Y'all, let me finish wiping my face. I don't want y'all, I'm not still crying. It's just, gotta keep myself together. All right. <laughs> seven of Wands is an underlying energy. This is resistance. This is insecurity. Um, resistance due to insecurity. Resistance due to needing to make a decision. Figuring out what your passions are. It's time to make a decision. You're resistant to making a decision, but it is time. And I'm going to tell you like this. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Tempers, King of Wands, Judgment. You need to focus on what your passions are and you need to find balance within yourself because what's happening is your time is running out. And this isn't for everyone, but whoever I said that for, you know who it is. Your time is running out. Just because something is meant for you guys doesn't mean that it's going that put it like this. Just because something is meant for you, it's fated for you. If you do not do what you're meant to do to get to that level or get to that particular part of your life, you will miss that opportunity. Someone's time is running out here. Got judgment and temperance. Temperance right above judgment. It's time to make a decision. Ten of Cups. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Okay. Five of Swords, feeling defeated emotionally um, by some truth, some change, something changing within your happiness. So this can be, mm, this is an ending. Someone could be leaving a situation that no longer makes them happy. It changed and they're telling the truth about it. My happiness is, is I'm no longer happy with the situation. I feel defeated. I feel conflicted by the situation. I feel like I cannot um, continue to be in balance this is a relationship someone's in balance in a relationship and they're they've changed they've changed someone could be in a relationship and trying to juggle being in a relationship a committed relationship and being happy with another love because this is somebody totally different this is a balance going on um this can be your energy your partner's energy hell this can be both of your energy from what i'm seeing both parties um outsource and joy from different parties now with this nine of cups energy here this is an overage someone feels defeated by someone acting out or someone doing too much of something so either they're doing too much of betrayals too much lies whatever the case may be too many codependencies too many arguments someone's doing too much of something so someone's making the decision to move away from that nine of cups here this nine of cups rings three of swords. So this is definitely someone doing more than what they need to do. Why is this nine of cups here? Nine of cups. Why is this nine of cups here? We got the six of cups with the queen of swords. Hmm. Someone making a decision for their happiness. Four of swords retreating from a situation. Someone feels like their happiness is worth more than them waiting um, for judgment to come in. This, whatever this, this situation, there's too much resistance. Someone feels like it's time to make a decision. No ifs, ands, or buts. There's no other way for me to put this. You need to make a decision. Multiple people feel like you need to make a decision. And I'm saying multiple people because I see one, two, three, four, five, six people in this picture. I'm not saying that you got six people in your life that, you're, that are waiting for you to make a decision. But you could have six people in your life that are being affected by a decision that you need to make. You need to make a decision. Put your concerns to the wayside. Queen of Swords, make a decisive. Does that make sense? A decisive decision. Make a, and it's going to sound very cold when I say it, but make a calculated decision. 
Weigh your pros and cons within the situation and choose what is beneficial to you and what is not. The Queen of Swords is really about cutting her concerns with this Nine of Cups, choosing pleasure, choosing not necessarily pleasure, but choosing what is beneficial to her and what is not. What is not beneficial to the Queen of Wands, she leaves to the wayside, she cuts away. She is the deciding factor on what is good and what is not. You going within yourself, really figuring out what makes you happy is this Queen of Swords energy. This is you going within so that you can make a decision as to what it is that this, this uh, what it is that you want. To whatever this is that you want. I don't know what it is that you're making a decision about because it varies from person to person. But it's time to decide. So let's see. Why is this Temperance card here? Why is this? So we got the Nine of Pentacles over here. It's time, some of you guys feel like it's time to be single. Time to gain some, mm. So someone, if this is not you, this could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. This can be, um, this can be a Taurus that you're dealing with. Emperor's underlying energy. Um, what other sign go with, talk, go with Venus? Uh, Libra, this can be a Libra female, a uh, Taurus female that you're dealing with. This can be an Aries male. But someone is trying to find balance to their foundation meaning they are independent so this is someone that is single or this is someone that is hoping to gain their independence by setting boundaries and handling whatever responsibilities they have this is balance this is finding a creative way to remedy this situation that someone feels like was being um uh, hmm. there we go again Some of you guys need to make a decision. This emperor, empress energy that I'm in, and I got it again here. That's why I stopped everything. It took me all off track. I still got this emperor and empress energy. Now, this is here. Um, someone needs to focus on making a decision for that to be a mainstay. Because here, you guys are both single. Or if you're not single, one of you is single and one of you is trying to gain an independence the emperor in this situation is trying to gain his independence trying to gain his um boundaries and change his life but he's very slow moving forward the knight of pentacles here very slow energy moving forward the empress on the other line on the other hand she knows it's time so she's setting boundaries and she's handling whatever responsibility she's having and she's moving forward. So we could be talking about divine masculine, divine feminine, the divine feminine moving forward, finding her purpose, gaining her independence and gaining control of her life. The emperor in this situation stagnant, needing to find balance, needing to gain his independence. King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands energy here? Two of Cups. Focused on a relationship, focused on love. Knight of Swords focused on moving forward with love, being very enlightened on King of Wands. It, pff, shit. This King of Wands here is very focused and enlightened on this Queen of Wands. Okay? On a relationship, on a companionship, on whatever connection that you have. But with the Knight of Swords, you may be coming off a bit aggressive. Um, there isn't a lot of emotion that comes with the Knight of Swords. There is not a lot of emotion. So this could be... Mm-mm. This is truth. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, Page of, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. So this is movement. The King of Wands is moving. He's very mo he's very focused on love right now. He's very focused on a union right now. He feels like it's time to make a decision. Yet someone's resisting. Why are you resisting? Judgment. Why is judgment here? So either the Emperor here is resistant. Or maybe the empress here is resistant because the emperor, even though there's a single or an independent energy around it, there's still a lot of responsibilities that need to be handled. So the emperor might decide to resist the situation. Why is judgment here? Decisions, 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 decisions. Universe, four of pentacles. Someone's holding on to a cycle that has closed. Star card, needing to make optimistic plans toward... Opening your energy to someone else. So someone's making the decision to stay guarded and look or make plans toward opening or nurturing themselves. So this can be, yeah, this can be uh, whoever, whether it be you or the person that you're dealing with. Someone feels like that there's a lot of debauchery. There's a lot of playing. They feel like they're being played. 
Um, so they're setting up boundaries and they're really readjusting what they're putting their energy toward, being very focused on standing in their power and going after their dreams. Someone wants a relationship. They want a relationship to grow closer. And I believe with the resistance here, that may be why there's resistance because this particular situation has not been moving forward. And now, divine timing, either this King of Wands is a new energy that's coming in and they're focused on moving forward with that new energy, or this may be your energy um, focused on moving toward someone new. Maybe both of your energy focused on moving toward someone new. Who knows? So let's see. This is all on the weekend, guys. So you know, let's see what messages we got. What messages do we have? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Focus intentions. It says keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. Some of you guys need to have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. What other messages do we have? Sorceress, it says you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. That's all I got, y'all. Peace.